authorities have this man behind bars. He's accused of attacking and robbing an off-duty officer of his personal firearm in North Philadelphia. Still, police say there are more people they want to speak with. Sunday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story is the arrest of an armed and dangerous man. But investigators are still asking for the public's help finding other people who may have been involved. In fact, authorities have released several photos of numerous people taken during and after the violent confrontation. Action News reporter Charles Watson joins us live from police headquarters with details tonight. Charles. Yeah, Walter, officers in the 25th district arrested the male suspect in this case in Kensington this afternoon. Now Philadelphia police say they need the public's help to locate several women who allegedly helped the suspect get away after he assaulted and robbed an off-duty Philadelphia police officer. Get a good look at the women in these photos. They're wanted by Philadelphia police. Oh, my the women God. Yo, Philly. Oh. Oh. Philly oh, this <laughs> look at the despair. It's like, well, we've come to expect this at this point. Like, this is not new, right? To just see these, like, black women's faces all up on the fucking news. Yo, Philly is, like, literally, like, yo, it's it's something in the water there, man. <laughs> All dark butts. <laughs> nah, it ain't got nothing to do with dark skin. This ain't a dark skin. No, I'm just thing. describing them. It's all dark butts. These <laughs> girls are, yo, it's something in the, yo, it, it, we've been doing Philly for years. White, Puerto Rican, we haven't seen, yo, we haven't seen one. We're still looking for the first smash out of Philly, man. The first smash. God damn. You're, t you're telling me you don't like that one in the middle there, Hawk? She the best one. The one in the middle on the top, she the best <laughs> the one, one in the middle, on, uh... on the top. She the, she the hottest one. <laughs> God. Dolph. Yo, Philly is like, it's almost like they're a caricature of themselves now, man. Yeah, this, this is what I imagine hell to be like, basically. Just you're hanging out with these girls all day. Right. And it's like, yo, you got to holler at these chicks. Like, this is what you got to <laughs> holler at. Like, hey, show that. Come here. And and you got to, like, convince her to give you your number and shit. Like, oh, nah, man. Get a good look at the women in these photos. They're wanted by Philadelphia police after the women allegedly prevented an off-duty Philadelphia police officer from detaining a male suspect who police say assaulted the officer and robbed him of his personal firearm. It all unfolded shortly after 7 this morning on the 2100 block of West Oxford Street in North Philadelphia. Police say the off-duty officer, who is assigned to the 22nd District, was able to disarm the male suspect of his own weapon before discharging it in an act of self-defense. These women allegedly got involved, helping the suspect, who may go by the nickname Duke, get into a black BMW that police say he hit the off-duty officer with before fleeing the scene. Law enforcement arrested the suspect at G and Hilton Streets in Kensington this afternoon. In addition to these women, police are also seeking to identify and interview the individual seen here in these photos. Shit, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and we're supposed to believe they're scared of the police. Yo, Philly bro, these trenches. Bro, these man. like the this is this is literally the typical sun men you will see every day in the in the in the city, bro. Yeah. yeah. It looks like a different country. It really does. And these mm -hmm. niggas would just be hanging out, bro. Imagine you walking to the to the poppy store, you, you want to get something to drink, and it's like 12 of these niggas, these niggas just posted outside, bro. Just staring you down, talking just shit. Staring you like, down. Yeah. Fucking looking at you like you're supposed to be in a whole different fucking planet. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like they're not human beings. It's like they're more like critters. Like they're just there to fuck with you and just fuck up your life. Yeah. And it's worse than you think, bro. Yeah. No, no. Trust me. I know what you're saying. Like, like, that's like their office. The corner store is like their <laughs> office. Yeah, yeah, Elks Lodge and shit, man. Damn, man. However, it's unclear at the moment what their connection is to this case.
And at this hour, we do not know the condition of that off-duty officer. Philadelphia police have not said whether or not that officer was injured. They do tell us they are trying to locate the officer's personal weapon in addition to those persons of interest who, uh, who we showed you in those photos. If you uh, know anything about this case, specifically the whereabouts or identities of those individuals, you're asked to give police a call. For now, we're live in front of uh, police headquarters. And, uh, Charles Watson for Action News at 10. Whoa, um, buddy. You got you got stuttering there, man. Um, oh, yeah. So this is the this is the youth look officer that was killed by that son, man. That white guy. God damn. We, we whacking out officers left and right, man. Um, unbelievable, man. Um, let me see. What the, give me a city, man. Give me a city, man. Um, Let's see what's going on. I just don't get how, like, sons can have that, the whole, like, fucking uh, gas station shit. Like, how can that be acceptable? I just can't understand. Yeah, it's crazy. Salute the Mad Peace, man. Mad Peace, Ock Nation Hall of Fame, where he says, Salute, Ock Nation. The bottom line is most American sun men would have nothing to fall back on if they don't blame white folks for everything wrong with them. The entire universe. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to all the Oc Nation ladies. You know what? It does make sense that we would blame Gladys for everything because they've created everything. Like, think about it. Like, literally everything we have was created by Gladys. Well, not only not only that. Like, it's almost like uh, like we we brought you. Like, we we like time warped you guys. Because you only like left Africa like 500, 400 years ago. It's almost it's almost like the year of the sun is like the day the white man showed up. So you always are gonna like base your your timeline off of us. That's true. And yeah. and we were in the Stone Age too. It's not like we were in the Iron Age. Y'all brought us from the Stone Age. Yeah, time warp. <laughs> like quite literally, it's just like you're there one day, and then the next day you're fucking around these gliders and they got like a civilization it's like yo what the fuck just they, happened and they got fucking philosophies of morality and, and yeah. human yeah. rights and shit these fucking juice crew are putting on boats and then now all of a sudden you're in america and it's just like man it's a probably a crazy time to be alive I, I gotta say yeah and 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 the and the society make is it, it, it it's not made from our mind right so like mm, yeah. none of this stuff is things we would have created. So like thus we don't appreciate it, even though we marvel right. at it, we don't appreciate it, right? So like think about it, right? Like he talked about those sun men hanging out in front of the store. If you're a think about it, if you're a fucking, if you would be a fucking tribesman, just living in a village like in a hut somewhere. And now you're in the fucking greatest country in the world with a computer in your pocket, clothes, you got all your shots, you've been to the dentist, you got fucking glasses if you got poor vision, you got braces if your teeth are jacked up, and you just have all this shit that in a gazillion years, your, your collective mind of your people would have never created. And in an instant, you'll throw it all away over some of over a look or a tweet. Yeah, it's just like this unjust <laughs> enrichment. So there's no way to really appreciate it because it's, it's just because in order to appreciate it, you have to at least have like some idea of uh, like we talk about basketball. You guys just sit for like an hour, right? Like when Larry Bird shakes Magic Johnson's hand and like congratulates him. He's able to understand like how hard Magic Johnson worked for that fucking championship, right? Because Larry Bird was right behind him trying to win the championship himself, yeah. right? But here it's like, nah, you took like the Sun Man from these fucking huts and then you put them in like a real place, like a real country, and there's just like there's just it must be like genuinely confusing to just like the kind of sun zeitgeist, to be honest, to just live yeah. in in the in a glider society. Well, I mean, this it's sensory always it's sensory overload bro it's just too much shit we got to deal with on a daily basis and it's, it's too much for our brains bro yeah and 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 even the best of us struggle like like um 
Matt, doctor man that said he said a doctor man ain't no different than a nigga in jail man like it's really like even the best of us struggle in this world the mayors the mayors are always in trouble the 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 black um leaders they're always in some kind of fucking scandal they have always you know misappropriating funds or traveling or somebody's getting fucking some fucking chick or some shit always yeah, son, sons are bad at just like asking themselves the question like okay i can do this but should i 